yeah. Some of you may know that I'm just a slightly affected by seasonal depression. <laughs> and by the way, let me say for the many wonderful nights we've had here at the WOF, hats off to the MC. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you do, man. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, I sort of missed the, uh, you know, I'm not online much, and uh, so I miss things, and I've been missing other things lately, too. I just, you know, things just don't work. But anyway, so the mask thing, I was kind of unprepared for that, but... <laughs> But, you know, as you get older, your face turns into a mask, kind of, so. <laughs> I hope I'm not uh, shocking and dismaying you young people in the audience. Anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, and my, I always say my mind is like a beast, right? But I was thinking just yesterday in that kind of self-absorbed, egocentric way that creative people do, and it occurred to me that in reality, a better description would be, it's like an a, a antique or a vintage baseball machine from maybe the early 20th, early 20th century. <laughs> you would have found in the arcade in a place like Coney Island. You know, it's all made of metal and it's all mechanical. It just clanks and chatters. And that's a good way to describe my mind. <laughs> and this is a good way to lubricate my throat. <laughs> is sometimes poetry goes to a different place and just kind of cuts through all that chattering and clanking that the mind generates. So I'm just going to read a couple, three poems that are sort of related to uh, the Valentine's theme. And uh, there's a mask in that for me, too, because I'm single, and it seems like I've always been single. So, you know, to hell with Valentine's. <laughs> oh. Wait, did I say that out loud? Yeah. Okay, good for me. <laughs> and seriously, when I lived in Santa Fe, I actually met this torture raw brunette whose name was Sarah Valentine. <laughs> So this is a poem for Ms. Valentine. And this is, uh, you know, to give my overall theme here, this is kind of my typical uh, Valentine's type of poem. And it might even be my typical uh, seasonally effective poem. <laughs> a poem for Ms. Valentine. Restating the obvious. <laughs> Differing over small details. Nevertheless, suffering at every juncture. There are wounds that time shall not heal. Will aside. So many contrasts divide us as across a great gulf we gaze. I pray that our eyes meet in that significant space blue far above the river where heretofore only red hawks have flown. Sarah, can you hear their cries? <coughs> thank you, thank you very much. Okay, and you know, I'm a humorous guy too. 
sometimes, or probably like most people, you know, when you try to be funny, it sucks. You don't get the, you know. But anyway, inadvertently funny. So this is Rob's Valentine's card. These days, I find the over-commercialized sentiments of Valentine's crass. But so am I. I want your sweet, bad ass. <laughs>